successfully completed the CD motor circuit and the Arduino circuits for your potentiometer and light block, plug your Leonardo or Uno into your computer using its USB. Then use a browser to go to codebender.cc. You'll need to use Chrome because Codebender is a plugin that's used for Chrome, so you'll need to go to the Chrome Web Store and install the Codebender app. Once you've installed the Codebender app, it allows you to use it to write programs for your Arduino and use the serial monitor. So if you go to codebender.cc site, you can search for Pathfinder DD, P-A-T-H-F-I-N-D-E-R-D-D. And under that, you'll want to go to Millistrobe, M-I-L-L-I-S-T-R-O-B-E, Millistrobe is the code that runs this sketch that we'll be using. So if we open Millistrobe, it will show us the code, but it won't actually allow us to make any changes. For that, you'll need a login. So when you log in, click this button up here, you can log in with Gmail if you're already logged into Gmail, or you can set up an account. What you'll do is log in, It will open the code in your text editor that will look like this. We can verify the code to make sure that everything's correct. This loads it on the Arduino. At this point, your Arduino should be plugged in. It should be showing the appropriate port and the board that you're using. If it's not showing the correct board, you'll need to change it to make sure that the board is correct. If you're using an Uno, use an Uno. If you're using a Leonardo, please move it to that or any other Arduino board that you're using. Please make sure that you select the correct board. A quick code walk here shows us the declaration of some variables that we use in the program. And basically what we're doing is, is we are going to be monitoring the serial to see how many RPMs it is, it is projecting. Then down here it is using delays the on delay is in microseconds and millions of seconds, and the delays between the flashes are in milliseconds. And what we do here is, is I've converted milliseconds or hertz of how many times it cycles each second, and I've converted that using an algorithm to RPMs, which would be how many rotations it is per minute. So we'll be able to keep track of that in the serial monitor. But for now, uh, there's no reason to change any of these numbers unless you are more experienced with coding and you understand some of the dynamics of this circuit. I would not go less than 4 on min delay and no more than 30 on max delay. When you're ready, click on Run on Arduino, and it will allow you to begin uploading the sketch to your board. and also monitoring the serial output. So if we click on serial monitor, we come down here to connect, and then we begin to see the readout of how many RPMs this program is, is syncing with in the spin of the disk. So even though it's at, say, at its lowest sending, is it 30 milliseconds delay if you convert that to RPM, so you're going from hertz to RPMs using this sketch, we're at about 1,876 RPMs on the disk. Here, I continue to turn the potentiometer. You can see it goes to 2,100, 2,200, 2,300, 2,600, and so on. And what that does is it tracks along and shows us how many times the light is blinking per minute, even though we've actually just given it more of a Hertz definition in the program by saying how many times it should blink per second using milliseconds. It's just a, a basic algorithm conversion. So turn your potentiometer knob clockwise and counterclockwise to adjust how many times the light blinks per second while monitoring the serial and then, making, then make some comparisons between 
what it looks like at different phases if you can find standard ratios. The CD motor blinks at about 18, or the CD motor spins at about 1800 RPM at full power on these motors. But I don't like to drop any lower than 1800 on the 3 watt bulb just to uh, make sure that it doesn't get uh, too much of a delay and longer pulses um, create some negative effects sometimes. So try to keep your RPMs above 1800, but that may also not allow you to see the one to one ratio, but you will be able to see a two to two ratio. So you should find that at about anywhere from 3000 to 4000 RPMs.